So this is the 1980 Olympic ski jump, and that's what we built. We built a giant ski jump that you can take your little mini figs or micro figs and take them down the ski jump and have fun with them going down the ski jump. We're in the winter months. We're doing winter themed sports. Um, ski jump is a lot of fun. So you come up through this tower, you got this observation deck and decking, then you climb out on the ski jump and you come on down and you jump off and you see how far you can go before landing. Uh, lots of fun, very cool, uh, very difficult design to get this you know, 45 degree angle slope uh, turned out fairly well. So I think it is pretty fantastic. Let's go check out how I built this. Oh, that's right. If you want to play along, there's a link to the kit down below, about $15 on Amazon. Go check it out. Let's go check out how I built this. So we got to build a ski jump today. Um, not exactly sure how we're going to build it. I have a mental picture of ski jumps in my head from when I was a kid going down to Lake Placid. Let's put hit start and let's get started. So ski jump, the main part of the ski jump is the slope. The slope is very, very steep. It's almost like a 45 degree angle. So we're going to have to find a way to host this up at 45 degrees. That's going to be the number one trick. So something like this, and then it, you know, it bottoms out at the bottom like that. So it goes, you go down the slope very fast and then you go straight out. And then that carries you through the jumping portion of the jump. So how are we going to do that? We have here slopes that we could angle this on. But that's not exactly sure. That's not exactly what I want to do. There is another way of doing it, which is this. But there's not a good way of holding that up either. These only go 90 degrees. Is there anything else here that I can get a slight angle off of? You know, some sort of pivot point that I'm looking for, trying to find, hmm, we got the flag, I could do an angle, but not an angle that I'm looking for, hmm, okay, so maybe I'm working with this, something like this, if that's the case, Hmm. See, now it's too heavy. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? So if I do something like this, I'm going to, it's three minutes in. I don't know what I'm doing yet or how to do it. So I'm going to freeze the clock and if you guys want to play along with me, go ahead. But we're going to try to figure out how to build this so that it actually looks like a ski jump. So what I was thinking is something like that and then this. And another one of these. Oh my, I think I've got it. We're going to do that on the bottom. 
that there. And I think I have it. So I'm thinking of the 1980 Olympic ski jump, which is in Lake Placid, which has a very unique um, style to the ski jump. There's not a lot of commonality between ski jumps other than the slope. The slope is common. The ski jump itself is can be different. So now we're going to build this up. Like that. And then a pole. Something like this. Start off like this. Oops. So the one in Lake Placid, it stands on a giant pole. Very similar to that. Okay. And then it has this observatory in the back where the Olympians would gather and get ready to go out on the ski jump itself. Okay. That's how it works. So then we have the overall shape now. So now the trick is to make it look pretty as much as I can and substantial. That's the other, the other part. I wanted to make it look substantial as if this would stand for, uh, you know, a hundred years or so. There we go, so there you got that. And then we're gonna add some more color to the observation deck. There we go. Then I'm gonna take this part off. I think we're getting the overall feel of the jump the way it is. And then, boom. Kinda looks like a high stick, but I think you can understand the idea. So you take an elevator through this, through the pole into the observation deck. It would be cool if I added some windows here somehow. And a railing. I think there's like a railing on top of the observation deck. There we go. We're gonna put it on the back end, the windows. So there, Gary Scales, a ski jump. So what you do is you take an elevator up to the observation deck. I forget if it's one level or two levels. I think it's just one level, <clears throat> but it's kind of like a ski lodge. It, there's a lot of places where you can put skis and your equipment and be in the location where you need to be in line to get ready to go on the ski jump. On the ski jump itself, the way you, do, way you get on the ski jump is you actually walk out and then there's a step, high steps up the ski jump. So if you wanted to go all the way to the top of the ski jump to start your jump, you have to actually come out in the middle and then walk up the stairs. Then you sit there and wait for your time so that you can be allowed to go onto the ski jump. So then you're sitting there waiting, they tell you to go, then you go out into the middle of the ski jump and then you come down and you shoot right out. That's actually not too bad. I like the look of it, I like the feel of it. I think it turned out fairly well. I'm gonna add a little something to it. Just on the top here. Ski jump. Very cool. So let's see if uh, one of these little smiley faces can roll down the ski jump. So if you think that I did a good job, leave a note and let us know. 
If you think I could have done better in any ways, uh, leave a comment about that as well. Well, that was a cool build. Now let's check the wall and see what we're going to build tomorrow. And it is a luge. So we got to build a luge, which is a very flat sled, if you will. And then people jump on it on their backs and then go down the bobsled track. So that's a luge. Let's go ahead and build a luge for tomorrow. And don't forget, go ahead and build along with us. We'd love to hear what you build, how you build it, and leave a comment down below. And share with us on social media. We'd love to see it. Okay, I'll leave you with this. Go ahead, make something today. Make anything today. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what, it, what you use to build something with. Just go ahead and build something. It could be cardboard boxes. It doesn't matter. Just go ahead and build it. Love to see it. Take a picture of it. Share it. Love to see it. But if you're not, just go ahead and build it. And then make sure to subscribe and check out our video tomorrow. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next day. Bye-bye.